Okay, so I'm going to pull up uh, this file I've been working on. Go to File Manager because I saved it, and it's called Sport Car 2. Open that up, and what I um, it says active layer is locked. So let me look at the layers. You press the blue button here, and um, I'm going to unlock this. This is uh, when I start creating the uh, outer surface. I call it surf ribbon. Uh, it's a new layer that I created, and I'll show you how you one way to do that. So I'm going to go uh, hide this, and I'm going to choose under the draw tool something called custom ribbon, and I'll press that again to pull up. Uh, I think by default this is uh, like here, but you want to have sub D turned on. And if this is down here, you want to move this up so you can get more uh, drawing capability. So that should be good. Close this. Um, and if you want to change your color, um, I'll do blue just to contrast it from the red outline. So I'll press my index finger and I start to kind of draw what they call a ribbon um, surface. Um, now I can double press to end it and then this is the fun part where you can start um, editing it. So if I grab with my right grab sphere and you see my left hand that top blue button has all those points, you press that down, now you're in edit mode. And so in edit mode I can with my grab sphere on my right hand just start pulling this down and sort of filling it in. If I want to have more control, I use my right index finger and give sort of more points. And every one of these little dots or points is something I can then grab like that and kind of, you know, be more precise about how I am filling my surface. So let's put one down there and pull this out a bit. Um, so, you know, that's that's kind of a nice way. There's multiple ways in Gravity Sketch to create, but this one seems to work well. Um, and yeah, so that's I've just created. Uh, and if I want to do it again, I hit my check and then I might go here uh, and do a different surface, double tap, grab it so I can get into edit mode. And then I start pulling down. Remember, press here gives me more control points like that. Um, you get the idea. Um, so you can kind of be bending. Um, <clears throat> you can also, if you think about it, pull it out and in and stuff like that, uh, if you wanted to create some depth to whatever, maybe it's not a, you know, whether it's your car or your shoe or whatever you're making, that's kind of a cool option. Give it a little bit of, you know, um, 3D quality and, you know, um, so if you're looking at the side from here, anyway. So have fun playing around with the ribbon tool and always got to save. So I do that by pressing my options button and pressing save. And it just kind of gives me another, uh, you know, it saved all that stuff I just did. And if I ask you maybe to take a screenshot um, to share with me, this is where you do it. You take screenshot and you can kind of move your left hand to put it in, uh, in sort of the frame. And then I'll choose, boom, take screenshot. So that's going to go to your um, landing pad. Okay, have fun.